Mr. Rabi, executive producer of World Liberty TV. We are with Ms. Lita E. Banks, supermodel from the Cayman Islands. Uh, Victoria's Secret shows the most expensive diamond crusted bra one can ever buy. Uh, uh, modeled with some of the biggest agencies in the world. How did you get involved in the field of fashion, Miss Eubanks? Um, well, um, I was so blessed to be scouted um, by, the, by an agency, but a lot of girls, you know, you have to audition and you just have to stick to it. Even being scouted, you know, it's not an easy road. It's a very saturated industry. So you have to really be persistent and really believe in yourself and just know who you are as a woman. And I believe with, in knowing that, then you can accomplish anything, including very high scale of uh, modeling. Uh, tell us some of the, uh, the, the, the big fashion show, Victoria's Secret, the bra you was wearing, the four million. Tell us your experience with that and coming down the runway with that. Uh, uh. Yeah, um, being honored to wear the million dollar bra for Victoria's Secret is something that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. It's such an accomplishment. Um, it's, uh, it's exhilarating and um, empowering all in the same time. Um, not, not only walking on the runways of Victoria's Secret in front of millions of people on television, but also knowing that you are honored with this opportunity. I'm just very humbled and blessed by it. And um, yeah, it's an awesome, awesome experience. You also do a lot of wonderful work for women empowerment, I believe in Sierra Leone. Tell us about your foundation. I really like that part of you because I'm a humanitarian myself. Share that about what your organization does and what is the theme with that? Um, yes, um, so I work with Shine on Sierra Leone. Shine on Sierra Leone, I started working with them in 2011. And I, on my travels there, I learned that Sierra Leone has the highest child mortality rate. So one in five children, so one in four children die before the age of five and one in eight women die before childbirth. And um, it's just, it really struck a chord with me just being a woman and I, got, I had the opportunity to work with Shadon Sierra Leone and not only help build a maternal health care center that has been self-sustainable since then and helps save the lives of thousands of women and children, but also we have built two schools, working on our third school now. Um, our school is ranked second in all of Sierra Leone, so our, um, our infrastructure is solid. Our, um, our teachers are brilliant. We're just really humbled and excited to just impact ch children's lives the way we are capable of. And as far as women empowerment, um, I will be hosting an event in the Cayman Islands April 2nd for women. Um, just, you know, just I think every now and then a lady, a woman needs a tap on the shoulder from her fellow sister to remind her how beautiful she is and to learn what her true worth is about. Great. Well, we're very honored that you're a woman of color and, and, and representing the Cayman Islands and, and, and just generally women of color as being supermodels like Naomi Campbell and many of the others. Uh, Pat Cleveland, which I had the pleasure of interviewing and, you know, uh, being on the cover of Oak. So it's, it's good to see things like that. So I want to thank you for your time. Hello, World Liberty TV. I'm coming straight at you. I'm Sleety Banks from Fashion Week. Mwah.